He looked back now at some... Look, this start was funny in itself. The fact that uh, some went and some didn't. Dean Horace in there, I think he was checking out the, the weather or the scenery. He's about <laughs> five metres behind everybody else. So, yeah, we'll have to have a, have a word on him about that for tomorrow's race. John McGuinness made a great start, didn't he? 45. I haven't actually seen that from the other shot, but he, he was actually leading going well, into the first corner. Yes, when the athleticism comes to the fore, I think, if anyone's seen or knows John McGuinness, they'll know he's a very athletic person going on his, his stature and shape. So uh, I don't know how on earth he's managed to win a, a running race <laughs> to the, the other side of the track. Now that we had this battle going on up front, it was a real group of bikes and Michael was very much a part of that as well. But this was exciting stuff and we didn't quite know if it was all running well. Yeah, it was. you could see him look down quite a lot and a big shake of the head there as Steve Brogan come past. So, But he was very aware when the bike did finally break or let go. Um, he pulled right over to one side and it was safe as possible. But it's a shame that the MV wasn't in the battle right to the end of the race. Yes, it was a great shame that we didn't see it go all the way through. But hopefully we may be able to see it in tomorrow's race. And as you said, it'll have another chance. And we had this, this great group of bikes up front. But what we didn't initially see was the number 125 of Steve Payton. We did see this tumble, I'm afraid, but all OK. Um, so that was good news. Yeah, I think there was just there was literally that much action happening in that, that group of... There's, there's Probably six. Well, there's down to five there now when Michael can arrive. So, yeah, Steve Plater was obviously just off the back of that out of the camera shot, and we didn't quite pick him up. Yeah, and he made a slightly earlier pit stop. And then, after we got to the pit stop, suddenly that number 125 with Glenn on board, he was the one that, that was really on the attack. And there he managed to find a way past as they came out of the first part of St Mary's into the second part down towards Levant, then the slipstream to come back, he lost that down to second place and then into the final section, he just dived down the inside and took the victory. Yeah, it would have been nice obviously to see the finish without the two back markers but everybody is out there trying to do their own race and, and that's what they're doing today. So well done to Glenn English and uh, Steve Plater for taking the victory in the first race of two.